Welcome, Foodie Adventure fans. Today we have kimchi. One of the best things you can put in your body, fermented food, kind of like sauerkraut or pickles. Every culture has something that they fermented because in the winter time, it's harder to get your vegetables to harvest, obviously. And uh, you want to have food stored for the winters. So yeah, this is a Korean uh, dish here. The side dish, it can be made as a whole dish as far as like a kimchi soup with pork in it, the uh, chige. But ingredients are, you know, the Napa cabbage as I mentioned, uh, carrots, you're gonna have Korean rock salt. You can use anchovies, but we like to use the salted uh, sh mini shrimp anchovies. You can find those at the Asian market. And it's gonna have the Korean red pepper, you're gonna have ginger and garlic most of the time, green onion, a lot of good stuff, a lot of healthy things for you. And like I said earlier, many different cultures are used the pickling of fermentation process because we didn't have refrigerators back in the day. And so it was key during winter time uh, to go ahead and have food stored. So this is a great way to stay healthy and still be able to eat something really wholesome during those cold winter times and you know i guess the spiciness kind of helps out too with being a little bit warm maybe so that's pretty cool i have a few fun facts here that i'm gonna go over number one is going to be anti-aging if you ever notice why some of us koreans uh, look a little bit younger for our age it's because we're giving ourselves the best of the best we're getting cellular growth from all the amino acids riboflavin and uh, the different vitamins that are in kimchi i know a lot of you Ladies and some of you guys out there are, you know, really taking care of your skin these days and using a lot of different things. I would say take care of your skin internally by, you know, eating kimchi and getting all the great benefits from it. That way you can create cellular growth from the inside of your body and it will show on the outside of your body when you have that wonderful smile with less wrinkles. You know, you're going to definitely look a lot younger eating foods like this as opposed to eating bad oils and eating fried food all day and not having any kimchi at all. So if you're gonna eat those foods, you might wanna consider throwing some kimchi in the mix, maybe on a little, so little bit on the side, you know? So that's a great idea if you wanna help out, you know, your skincare treatment routine, that's a great way to go. So moving on to the next one, we have number two, you're gonna have increased immunity. Uh, definitely wanna help your immune system out during this time for everything that's going on eat you some good kimchi, make you some good kimchi. That way you control the ingredients that are in it. And from there, you're gonna be actually uh, doing really well. Number three, these are gonna have amino acids, nutrients, and vitamin. It's gonna be packed and stacked with all these things. It's gonna contain vitamin A, B, C, and K when it's all said and done. It's gonna have all those vitamins. It's gonna have all those amino acids that your body desperately needs. It's gonna have lactobacillus. That's gonna be the culture that you're going to find in kimchi that's basically uh what happens after the fermentation process so that's what makes it extra healthy so if you're looking to improve your health don't go looking for a vitamin the vitamin you need to take is most likely going to be kimchi and number four probiotic and digestive health this kind of ties into the vitamins and everything else so it's going to have the lactobacillus culture in it which is going to definitely help your gut flora when you help your gut flora, you're actually going to help the biodynamics of your whole body, what we explained earlier. So you're just going to be uh, operating on a very high level. And that's what you want to do um, at any moment in time. You want to be operating on a very high level mentally, physically, spiritually, everything else. So this is definitely food for the soul. We definitely enjoy eating kimchi with everything. Um, number five. Number five is going to be heart health benefits. So it's definitely good for the heart because we all know that vitamin K, if not look it up, vitamin K is actually very good for blood clotting and heart health. So definitely another reason to put this in your diet. Believe it or not, Koreans like to eat a lot of fatty beef and things like that. And so uh, whenever we do that, we like to have some kimchi with it. It kind of counters the fact that we're eating all these fatty foods and it's really going to help out the heart and the digestion on a whole nother level. And so now we're going to talk about things you can eat with kimchi or you can make a dish with kimchi, like the chige, that, I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, uh, kimchi chige is like a kimchi soup, basically a kimchi stew with like either pork or beef. You could, I guess you could use one of those two. I've had it that way many times. Extra delicious, it is pretty hot, depending on how you make the kimchi, but you know, it's a good sacrifice, you know. Uh, spicy foods are usually very good for you. Uh, so we got kimchi chige, you got, bulgogi, um, you have, you can make kimchi fries, 
Uh, you can saute kimchi with some onions and make like caramelized kimchi and onion on top of your burger. And maybe if you put the right cheese, that'll work too. Yeah, you could do kimchi, egg, rice, and natto, which is another ferment fermented uh, food that's like really, really good for you as well. At first, I didn't know how I felt about natto, but you know, when you realize, you know, the health benefits, sometimes it's worth it to try it, you know? But yeah, I mean, this kimchi is almost ready. What you want to let it do is maybe let it sit out for five days to two weeks, and maybe we need to let this sit out. I mean, you can eat it fresh. It just doesn't take on the full fermentation process. If you're making it at home, if you buy it at the grocery store, you probably want to put it in the fridge, right? Yeah, if you buy it at the grocery store, you probably want to you know, put it in the fridge, but why would you do that when you can make it at your house? We're probably going to do a full video pretty soon on how to make your own kimchi and layer it properly and... You know, I always like to, like to put all the best ingredients. You never know. I might be a kimchi salesman pretty soon. So, and it's because it's that good. It's better than, you know, it's better than your mother-in-law's kimchi or whatever that is. Okay, I'm just saying. This is my mom's kimchi. I mean, how, it doesn't get any better than that. My mom's kimchi is going to be way better than somebody's mother-in-law's kimchi because they just learned how to make it, obviously, unless, I don't know. But anyways, yeah, we'll probably call it your mama's kimchi. I'd like to close this video out, letting my viewers know that if you're looking for a full flavor explosion, then you definitely want to put kimchi in your life. It's going to put some spice in your life. It's going to put some love in your life. I mean, I don't know about that. I mean, you just got to already have that. But uh, it'll definitely make your food very flavorful. Like if you have ramen noodles or uh, a Korean uh, noodle dish like Meng Nian or even some Japanese udon, some Chinese uh, regular, any kind of soup really that's not like a creamy soup, this would go great with it. Leave on the comments below if you've actually had some good health benefits since eating kimchi. And uh, we want to hear from you. We want to let the world know how great kimchi is. So it's definitely going to be really good for you. I highly recommend it. I've been eating kimchi most of my life and I don't think I eat enough of it, honestly. So guys, like, smash that like button, comment. Let me know what you think about kimchi and what other dishes you like to make with kimchi. Uh, definitely subscribe because we're going to be doing all kinds of videos. We're going to be uh, doing videos on food, adventures, and hopefully vacations again soon, cruises, maybe some things like that. Uh, maybe if everybody starts eating their kimchi, we'll be, uh, we'll be able to go on more vacations soon. Definitely a pleasure. Foodie Adventures, signing out.